All right, uh, Karen Handel is joining us right now. You might remember that name. Uh, she's the uh, Georgia Republican congressional candidate going up against uh, John Ossoff, uh, who uh, scared a lot of Republican higher ups uh, because uh, he darn near won uh, that election, and getting about 48 and a half percent of the vote in a runoff. The chances for Ms. Handel appear to be much, much better. Uh, we did reach out to John Ossoff. I've not heard back, uh, but hope springs eternal. But uh, Karen Handel with us right now. Very good to have you. Thank you for coming. Absolutely, great to be here. Now, the president, uh, you know, was was out arguing on your behalf in Atlanta. Uh, he thinks that's a, a, a crucial uh, state to secure, of course. His uh, uh, his homeland. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, his health and human services secretary, of state. Uh, do you feel that pressure? In other words, uh, that that you're you're up against considerable odds here uh, and that if you don't deliver the goods it's somehow a big damning indictment of all things Trump. What do you think? Well, obviously, I, I feel the pressure, but not so much for um, <clears throat> what it means for the president, but what it means for the people of the 6th District. Um, it's important for the 6th District to have their next congressman be someone like me who has a real track record of getting things done and some real experience, unlike my opponent. Do you think you're being hurt by the president, though, that, that, that whatever the controversies that he has had to endure, you know, you could say self-inflicted, others could say the media that never gives him a break, uh, that it's hurting you, it's hurting your battle? You know, he's the president of the United States, so to be able to have the president's support is a good thing, and especially in a, in a very solid Republican district. With that said, it's the press and the Ossoff folks and the Democrats who want to make this about the president. This is about the people of the 6th District and who is best aligned with the values of the 6th and who has the experience to actually represent them from day one, and also about someone who actually lives in the district. Yeah, okay, that much has been Which made of not. also. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I used to live in your fine district years ago, many years ago as a kid, and I know it gets a rap for being a very red district, and by and large it has been since, uh, you know, the days of Newt Gingrich. But the fact of the matter is, it doesn't fill the, the, the typical definition of, of hard red Republican right districts. It's a very educated district, it's a very uh, diverse district, it's a very well healed district. So I. I I wonder if, if that is working in a way potentially against you that it is evolving and, and changing. What do, you, what do you think? You know, it is still a very solid Republican district, and within the six, it's a broad spectrum of Republicans. Right. And what you saw in that primary was less about it being more Democrat and more about the fact that Democrats had essentially a coronation, if you will, for their candidate, while we had a very aggressive and competitive 11-way primary among the Republicans. Now, the president has already campaigned on your behalf. Is he, have you asked him to come back? Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if he will. Um, we would welcome him. We'll have Speaker Ryan um, hopefully in a couple of weeks. So um, the, the great news about this is that Republicans have all come together. All of my Republican opponents were all together. This is bigger than any one person. We have to hold this seat for Republicans. All right. We'll watch very, very closely. Uh, Ms. Handel, thank you very, very much.